What is up, El Gibbers fans? We are back with another video. Sorry it's been a while, but I've had school. As you know, I'm very busy with school and that sort of thing. Um, so, today I am building a tripod for my phone. So that way I can, you know, record without... I can record without um, having to, like, hold my phone all the time if I want to do, like, a time lapse or something. Boom, you set on the tripod and click record and you're good to go. So that's what I'm doing today because I haven't had anything like that. Somebody recommended that I should do this. So this is the start of it. There's gonna be a lot more to it, but this is just the base design. So I'm gonna keep building and I'll get back with y'all when I get a little farther in. While it might look crude, this is the design that we're going with right now. So I'll set it down and set it in there. As y'all can see, it actually stays really well. I'm not holding it right now, but it doesn't have a base on it yet. So I'm gonna like attach some plates down here so it'll, you know, like stay in place a little better. But then I think we'll kind of have a base tripod. And like, I know I could make it really complex or whatever, but honestly, this is really all I needed. Something that'll get the job done. It doesn't take up a ton of pieces that I might need for something else. So I'm gonna start on the base and I'll get back. All right. We now have our sweet feet on the um, tripod thingy, Jigger. And so now it can kind of like, I don't know, it can sit however it wants to, because like if you got it at an angle, one second, these guys can like move. I don't, I don't know how this would really help you. It makes no sense because it can't really sit like this. But you know, if you like somehow manage to finagle it into that position, sweet, you can do that. And so as you can see, hold up, I'll set it down here and stick the camera on there. And look, you can kind of like adjust the angle that the camera is going to be at because those front two swivel and you can shake it a little bit. That tripod's gonna hold nice and steady, so I think we have a good design, and I don't know. I think I should do something else in this video, so whatever you'll see next will just be some random thing I decided to do. I've decided to build the engine in my car because I got bored. It's a little, it's a little four-cylinder, the 22RE 2.4 liter, so I had to look up the firing order. It's apparently 1342, which you can't really do, so I'm just gonna do one three like one and three and then like one and three fire at the same time and then four and two fire at the same time because of how these are designed they're meant to be boxers like horizontally opposed so you can't really do like actually you can't you can't do the engines like they're really meant to be but that's okay they're meant to be in like a they're meant to be in a different shape not not in a straight line like the inlines like the inline engines are. So I'm doing this, and then when I get finished with this, I don't know, maybe I'll attach a motor to it and it'll be super cool. We'll see. I'll get back with y'all when I finish this though. So fun fact, because of how these, oh, whoopsies, because of how these engines are built, you can't actually make a camshaft that has the correct like spacing for different like firing orders. So now I'm making a flat six, and this is going to go into a 911 because that's what the old 911s had them in them. Now they have an inline six, but you know, I just think the flat sixes were cooler. So that's what I'm building now and I'll get, I'll, I'll finish that in a second and show y'all what it looks like. It's going to be super cool. We now have our completed engine, but it's not fast enough. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to make it go super, super, super fast. It's going to be going at like a whole 500 RPM by the time I'm done. It's going to be awesome. It, it'll be going faster than 500 RPM. But, you know, that's just, yeah, whatever. I'm going to stick on this gear right on top of this one. It's going to go super, super fast. So I'm going to stick this on and I'll show you how quick it really is. We now have the final design. Let's go. We've got our big gear up here, our little gear down here, and we've got our flat six here so we turn it on i know it keeps itself in place and that thing is absolutely moving at incredibly fast speeds i'm pretty proud of myself for this one um maybe next time i'll actually put it in a car and you know it can like go forwards and backwards and all that cool stuff it's gonna be awesome maybe i'll stick it in a tank that would be cool actually if i made a tank or something i don't know i'll make something awesome but thank you all for watching i'll see you next time